Nature is far more inventive than we are, which is why we are always amazed by what we see in the sky. The James Webb Space Telescope is the most powerful and expensive telescope ever created. However, it already justifies its enormous price by providing us with breathtaking images of the distant cosmos. In this video, I will tell you about 14 new frames captured by the James Webb Space Telescope that have shaken the entire space industry. Supernova flashes are among the most impressive cosmic phenomena in which stars rapidly increase their brightness by up to 100 million times. Cassiopeia A, the remnant of one such flash, was extensively captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. This stellar explosion, which according to NASA occurred 340 years ago, is considered the youngest supernova remnant in the galaxy. The image of Cassiopeia if captured by the telescope in the mid-infrared range allows astronomers to better understand the nature of such flashes. They have already been studied using other telescopes, such as the Hubble Space Telescope. However, the new images obtained with the James Webb Telescope contain a wealth of new scientific information that specialists are just beginning to explore. According to NASA, Cassiopeia F can help answer crucial scientific questions about the origin of cosmic dust. This is important because cosmic dust serves as the building blocks for stars, planets, and ultimately, life. Using the James Webb Telescope, scientists plan to determine the composition of the cosmic dust in Cassiopeia A. The James Webb Space Telescope has captured one of the first wide-angle, medium-depth images of space. The new snapshot showcases a portion of the sky known as the North Ecliptic Pole. The image covers an area of the sky roughly equivalent to 2% of the full moon but contains thousands of galaxies and individual stars. The medium depth refers to the faintest objects visible in this image with an approximate magnitude of 29. This is about a billion times fainter than what the naked eye can perceive. The image reveals thousands of galaxies spanning a vast range of distances and time. Light from the most distant galaxies traveled to Earth for nearly 13.5 billion years. The image incorporates eight different colors, ranging from near-infrared captured by James Webb to three colors of ultraviolet and visible light from the Hubble Space Telescope. Many of the galaxies observed in the image are being discovered for the first time. These images represent part of a larger scale survey that will cover an area approximately four times larger. One team member involved in capturing the image noted that in over two decades of work in the space industry, they had never seen such a magnificent image. They emphasized that the images taken by the James Webb Telescope are truly phenomenal and exceed even the boldest expectations of scientists. They allow for determining the density of galaxies emitting very faint infrared light and the overall amount of light they emit. NASA has also released another incredible image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. This time, the snapshot showcases galactic hourglass fire. The image features the dark cloud of the L1527 nebula, inside which a protostar is located, the initial stage of a new star's formation. In addition to being visually stunning, the images taken by the James Webb Telescope provide astronomers and scientists with an opportunity to study the birth and formation of a new star in greater detail. It is situated approximately 460 light years away from us within an hourglass shaped cloud of cosmic material that fuels its growth. Specialists note that the protostar is relatively young, at around 100,000 years old, which is considered quite young in the scale of the universe. It belongs to the class zero category, indicating that it is in the early stages of stellar formation, similar to protostars that are still enveloped in a cocoon of dark dust and gas. It has a long journey ahead before it becomes a fully fledged star. In Greek mythology, Pandora's curiosity led her to open a box from which all the world's misfortunes and calamities flew out. Hopefully, the James Webb Space Telescope hasn't done the same when capturing an image of a region in space known as the Pandora Cluster. The new snapshot reveals previously unknown details of this region while showcasing the merger of three massive clusters into an even larger supercluster of galaxies. The Pandora Cluster is located approximately 3.5 billion light years away from the telescope. To create the image, it utilized 50,000 sources of infrared light. The impressive balance of breadth and depth in the resulting image could revolutionize our understanding of galactic evolution. The photo highlights a bright star with characteristic diffraction spikes. Nearby are bright light sources surrounded by a hazy glow. These are much more distant galaxies within the Pandora cluster. Interestingly, Einstein also provided a key to unlocking Pandora's box. According to the theory of general relativity, objects with mass influence the very structure of space by warping it. 
This is akin to placing trucks on a stretched rubber sheet, resulting in indentations forming, much like heavier trucks causing deeper depressions in the sheet. Cosmic objects with immense mass cause significant distortions in the fabric of space-time. This distortion can be so strong that the path of light passing through it also becomes curved. In other words, if light from a background object passes through a massive foreground object, it may appear as though the background object is moving in the sky. This effect is called gravitational lensing and has various consequences. The foreground object, acting as a lens, can sometimes amplify the light from background objects. This amplification allows the powerful James Webb Telescope to observe light from distant, and thus earlier, galaxies. Objects can also become stretched as their light takes different paths and arrives at different times through the lensing object. This distortion helps astronomers distinguish between foreground and background galaxies. The scientific community has high hopes for the James Webb Telescope and its ability to capture images of objects located at very long distances. However, it also excels at capturing cosmic phenomena that are not so far away. For instance, it took an incredible photo of Uranus, revealing its satellites, ring system, and dynamic atmosphere in exquisite detail. The new image showcases 11 out of the planet's 13 existing rings, some of which are so bright that they blend together. Astronomers were amazed that the near-infrared camera proved sensitive enough to capture two of Uranus' inner field rings. Previously, they had only been observed by two other astronomical telescopes, the Voyager 2 spacecraft, which flew past Uranus in 1986, and the Adaptive Optics System at the Keck Observatory. When Voyager 2 photographed Uranus, the planet appeared as a featureless, blue-colored object with no noticeable details. The new image from the James Webb Telescope presents a stark contrast, showcasing the dynamic and ever-changing world of the ice giant. One unique feature of Uranus is its unusually large axial tilt, which is almost 98 degrees. Uranus is said to rotate on its side. This inclination leads to extreme weather conditions on Uranus. At each pole, the sun shines continuously for many years, followed by an equal period of darkness. Currently, it is spring at the north pole of Uranus. In the image, it can be observed that the right side of the ice giant is brighter near the northern polar ice cap, which is facing the sun interestingly, this is the first time scientists have seen this particular region. It is not visible in any of the contemporary images from the Keck Observatory. The James Webb Space Telescope has managed to capture a remarkable cosmic phenomenon, a dust structure consisting of 17 concentric rings that surround the Wolfrey at 140 star system. It is located approximately 5,000 light years away from Earth and consists of two stars. The main component of the system is a star of spectral class O, with a mass approximately 30 times that of the Sun. Its companion is the Wolf-Rayet star, with a mass approximately 10 times greater than that of the Sun. Wolf-Rayet 140 is the first known case where a concentric structure has formed within a star. According to scientists, this is due to its elliptical orbit rather than a circular one. Every time the stars come close to each other in their orbits, their stellar winds collide, compressing gas and forming dust. This leads to the creation of expanding dust rings. The image of WR140 also vividly demonstrates the technical capabilities of the James Webb Telescope, particularly its instrument designed for mid-infrared range observations. One of its tasks is precisely to search for and study dust structures. The James Webb Telescope has captured a stunning image of a spiral galaxy that resembles a celestial seashell, composed of blue and pink threads of gas. Known as M74, this galaxy's shape resembles that of a nautilus shell. Its spiral dimensions are believed to follow the Fibonacci sequence. M74, also referred to as the Phantom Galaxy, is located in the constellation Pisces, approximately 32 million light years away from Earth. Thanks to its prominent and well-defined spiral arms, M74 is classified as a grand design spiral galaxy with an organized structure. From a scientific perspective, the galaxy is of interest due to the presence of a medium-mass black hole believed to be at its center. In the past, M74 has been captured by various scientific instruments on different spacecraft, including the Hubble telescope. The distinctive feature of the new images is that they were taken in the mid-infrared range, made possible by the unique 18-segment mirror and the observatory's location at a significant distance from Earth. Additionally, the galaxy itself is within our line of sight, making it a popular target for scientists studying the origin and structure of spiral galaxies. The photographs taken by the James Webb Telescope will help them learn more about the early stages of star formation and gather more information about galaxies close to our Milky Way that are actively producing stars. We have seen numerous images of Jupiter before, but none can compare to the breathtaking photographs of the gas giant taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. 
The project's team recently released a pair of high-quality images showcasing Jupiter, revealing polar auroras above the planet's poles. Both images are composites, combining multiple shots captured by the telescope's NIR cam instrument into a single, highly detailed image. In the first wide-angle snapshot of Jupiter, in addition to the gas giant and its polar auroras, we can see the equatorial belts and small moons such as Amalthea and Thebe. Although the large moon Io didn't make it into the frame, it generated a slight brightness peak at the edge of the image. In Jupiter's southern hemisphere, we can observe a trail resulting from the moon's interaction with the planet's magnetosphere. The second image offers a close-up view of Jupiter, taken using three different filters to capture all the details of its turbulent atmosphere. In this snapshot, the polar aurora is displayed in red, the high-altitude haze is marked in green, and the deeper cloud layers are indicated in blue. We can also observe the Great Red Spot, the largest atmospheric vortex in the solar system, appearing white. Additionally, other vortices and equatorial belts in Jupiter's atmosphere are visible. It is worth noting that the image clearly shows the uneven edges and multiple irregularities of the anticyclone. Researchers aim to understand the processes occurring in Jupiter's atmosphere, ionosphere, and magnetosphere, as well as its interactions with moons, polar auroras, the planet's internal structure, the relationship between cloud composition and color, and the mechanisms behind the formation and evolution of vortices, including the famous Great Red Spot. In the case of the Great Red Spot, scientists seek to determine its composition and structure, as well as to understand if the anticyclone generates heat and transports it to the upper layers of the atmosphere. Once again, the James Webb Space Telescope has amazed researchers by capturing an image of the planet Neptune in unprecedented detail. The image clearly displays the planet's rings and some of its moons. Planetary scientists are already comparing the new image of Neptune with the one taken by the Voyager 2 spacecraft during its flyby of the planet in 1989. It has been three decades since we last saw these rings, and this is the first time we can observe them in the infrared range. Those familiar with the Voyager 2 images of Neptune may wonder why the icy giant does not appear bright blue in the new images. The answer lies in the NIRCAM instrument, which allows for imaging objects in the near-infrared range from 0.6 to 5 microns. Methane, which gives Neptune its blue color, absorbs red and infrared light. Therefore, in the near-infrared range, the planet appears almost dark, except for regions with high-altitude clouds. The image also reveals a large bright point of light with diffraction spikes. This is Triton, Neptune's largest moon. Upon closer inspection, one can spot 7 out of the 14 known moons of Neptune orbiting the planet. Triton appears massive because its surface is covered in nitrogen ice, which reflects about 70% of the incoming sunlight. It is believed that Triton has an underground ocean, which is why a mission called Triton is already being planned to visit it. The James Webb and Hubble Space Telescopes have captured incredible footage of the collision between the dark spacecraft and an asteroid. This was not a chance event. NASA was testing technology to protect Earth from potential asteroid and comet hazards by intentionally altering the motion of a space object. The probe collided with the asteroid at a speed of 6.5 kilometers per second, after which all communication was lost. Prior to the impact, the asteroid Dimorphos completed an orbit around its larger parent asteroid Didymos in 11 hours and 55 minutes, but afterward, the orbit was reduced to 11 hours and 23 minutes. This approximately 32-minute reduction in its orbital period demonstrates the effectiveness of the potential Earth defense system. During the final stages of the DART mission, there was a live broadcast, allowing people around the world to witness the spacecraft's approach to the asteroid and its collision. Both the James Webb and Hubble telescopes observed the collision before and after, providing astronomers with crucial scientific data. The telescopes detected the emergence of material trails emanating from Dimorphos after the impact, as well as a threefold increase in its brightness due to the impact. Interestingly, the brightness did not diminish for eight hours after the impact. These observations will enable scientists to refine their understanding of Dimorpho's surface characteristics, determine the amount of material ejected during the collision, and identify the predominant particles in the expanding dust cloud. Analyzing this information will help researchers better understand the quantity and nature of the ejections resulting from the collision and how it may alter the asteroid's orbit. When astronomers first laid eyes on the impressive images of the Southern Ring Nebula taken by the James Webb Space Telescope, they realized that they needed to revise their understanding of this seemingly unremarkable object. The Southern Ring Nebula, located approximately thousands of light-years away from Earth, is visible in the southern skies in the constellation of Vela. 
Its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, had previously observed this nebula, also known as NGC 3132. However, while the Hubble images were stunning, they could not capture the full story of this dusty cloud, which originated from the explosion of a dying star nearly a billion years ago. The Southern Ring Nebula is a planetary nebula, despite its name having no relation to planets. It is the result of the implosion of a red giant star, when a star slightly larger than the sun depletes its hydrogen fuel in the core and transforms into a red giant, which can be hundreds of times larger than its original size. Eventually, the star sheds its outer layers and evolves into the cooling remnants known as white dwarfs. The Stefan's Quintet is a compact group of galaxies located approximately 290 million light years away from us in the constellation of Pegasus, in the same region of the sky as the famous asterism known as the Great Square of Pegasus. To date, the Stefan's Quintet represents the largest image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. It covers about one-fifth the diameter of the moon. The image contains over 150 million pixels and consists of nearly a thousand individual frames. Instruments such as NIRSpec and MIRI were involved in its creation. The stunning image showcases clusters of young stars and bursts of star formation throughout the galaxy group. Despite being called the Quintet, the Stefan's Quintet, also known as Higson Compact Group 92, actually consists of four galaxies that are truly close to each other and engaged in a cosmic dance. The fifth and leftmost galaxy, named NGC 7320, is foreground compared to the other four. It is located about 40 million light years away from Earth, while the other four galaxies are approximately 290 million light years away. In this stunning video captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, we witnessed the breathtaking details of the magnificent Cartwheel Galaxy. Situated 500 million light years away from Earth, this chaotic galaxy is surrounded by hot dust, concealing its tumultuous past. Its wheel-like appearance is the result of a high-speed collision between a larger spiral galaxy and a smaller galaxy, which is not visible in this footage. While the galaxy now resembles a wheel, it was likely a spiral galaxy, similar to our own Milky Way, prior to the collision. The impact occurred at its center, giving rise to two visible rings that emanate from the collision point. The bright inner ring is teeming with hot dust and clusters of young stars, while the outer ring showcases newborn stars and supernovae. Strips reminiscent of the original spiral elements are still visible between the two rings. To the left of the Cartwheel Galaxy, two smaller companion galaxies can be seen, accompanied by numerous other galaxies in the background. The Hubble Space Telescope has also captured images of this galaxy, but it is the infrared camera on the James Webb Telescope that unveils a greater number of stars. This is due to the ability to observe stars more easily through dust when using infrared light. The Carina Nebula is a luminous cosmic cloud located approximately 7,600 light years away in the constellation Carina in the Southern Hemisphere. It is a well-known and popular target for astronomers and astrophotographers, but none of them have ever seen it through a telescope like the James Webb Space Telescope. The image reveals peaks of glowing cosmic gas and dust at a height of about 7 light years. The nebula contains a significant number of massive stars and scattered star clusters, including the famous Eta Carini, a binary supermassive system. Which image caught your particular interest? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching. See you soon.